In this video, we will look into the user and access management for Azure DevOps. Go to your organization settings and you will see the organization owner. If you want to change the owner, this is where you do it. If you go back to your organization settings and you see the users, this is one place where you can add users to your organization. If you see on the right side, you will see add users. This is where you put in the user or service principal name. You can select the user, the access level, the basic stakeholder or the Visual Studio subscriber. I'll select basic. This is where you add to the particular project. For example, if I want to add to a a project I would select that and that should do it the next is the permissions in security so if you do not have an active uh, organization owner or there is no one in your project collection administrator group which is an active user your organization will become an orphan and that's a difficult situation to be in so you should always have active users in your project collection administrator you can add them from here directly or you can go into the group and add the user so i'll go into the project collection administrators group in the members i can add member click add Select the person or if you have your email ID, you can directly put in the email address and click save. Once done, the person should have access to the project collection administrator role. Members of this group can perform all privileged operations on the team project collection. Now let's look into the project level access permissions. So if I go into the project settings, this is where you add project administrators. You just click add administrator, give the username and click add. If you select the permissions, These are the groups, you know, uh, that's available for your project. These are the built-in roles. So the build administrator, the contributors, the endpoint administrator, endpoint creator, project administrators, project valid users, readers, release administrators. The next, the last ones, if you see, is of the type team. If you see the description, it will tell you what exactly uh, members of this group can do like for example in the readers uh, these people the people in this uh, group have access to the team project they can only read uh, as the you know name says uh, in contributors they can add modify and delete items within the team project so usually when you invite someone to a, a team uh, of you know a project team they get added into the contributor role so if you go and check the contributor role these are the permissions they have you can scroll down to read more about it. And when you invite someone, they usually, uh, you know, by default get added to the contributor role on a project. So make sure that if you want someone to have read permissions only, do not invite them to a project directly, but create a, you know, separate role, um, separate group and add them or directly add them to the project readers. If you want to add someone specifically to the uh, project contributors role, you can do it from here. And this contributor role is also, you know, part of other role, uh, other uh, groups. So it's like a hierarchy of uh, permissions. So these are the built in uh, groups that you can add uh, new users to.
if you go to teams you will see a couple of teams when you create a new team it creates a separate board for them you can invite people directly into team so if i invite someone to this particular team which is a you know it creates a group which has contributor access to that particular project they should be able to access for example if i log in using the invited email address i haven't received the invitation email yet but it should come in a couple of minutes but the permission should already be there let me just try to log in directly to the devops organization i've already added so it should be there let me just try to log in to this organization I am now logged in. I should be able to see the projects that I have been invited into. This was the team that I was invited to and that was the project. So you can see I can access that project. It says I have been assigned stakeholder access so the experience will not be the same as a basic user. For that I would, I would need to you know, change the uh, access level inside the organization to basic now let's invite the same user into a different project by the way i have added that uh, user into the basic uh, you know a uh, basic role so it's now a basic user not a stakeholder anymore i will add it add him into the project and if i go back to my other user and if i refresh i should see the new project and that's it so i have got access to all the projects i have invited this user i have given him the permissions as contributor added him into the group so that's it uh, that's how you do it and now let's go ahead and you know see how you can remove a particular user from a project If I go to this project, let's go to project settings, go to teams. We added this user to this team, which gave him the contributor access. I would just like to remove him. The user has been removed. The user should no more have access to that project. If I refresh it, you can see he doesn't have access to that project anymore. So yeah, that, that's all about the user access management uh, in Azure DevOps. Make sure you have the organization owner uh, active all the time. You make sure you have more than one user in your project collection administrator uh, group. And yeah, make sure you do not, you know, make project admins to people whom you don't trust. So any guest users, make sure you they have only the permissions they need to do their work and nothing more so these are the best practices and if you found this video useful uh, do like and subscribe and thanks for supporting